it's fantastic. We love the new coaches. We um, love the atmosphere that they've created and just having a together team and playing for one another has just been fantastic. Almost lost it, got the ball back out to Trainer. She'll fire up the three ball and got it. Sarah Trainer. Just coming off the road, we had nine road games in a row, so that was kind of tough. But Coach G always says you can't be a good team if you don't win on the road. You have to be 10 points better. So we've just kind of found our stride, and we're not only able to win in the Benjo, but we can win in other people's gyms, and that feels really good. She gets control of it, and the Terriers have a chance to take the lead underneath. All alone, Bayer for the layup, and it goes in. Especially, I mean, coming off huge road trips. We're really excited to be in the Benjo. Um, we're excited to get back into conference and see what we can do because we were ranked pretty low this um, coming into this year, but we'd love to show everyone what kind of progress we've made and what we can do this year. Tonight is a huge game. Um, I think it'll set the tone for the rest of the season in conference play and just show everyone that we're here to compete and we're a different team and we're ready to play in the SOCON and to compete in the SOCON. It's definitely been a big change. Uh, I definitely have to play a lot more minutes, have a lot more responsibility. It's been great though. I love to be able to lead my team and uh, just be that person that they can look to to calm everything down and run the offense and keep them together. Obviously, that's a lot on my teammates. I can't get the assist unless I score the ball. Marie and Chloe are just amazing shooters. Kentra and Grayson are always finishing um, at the basket when I get them the ball, so that's a lot on them. But it's been great to just play with them. I've been with Maria and Grayson and Kentra for three years, so I like to know where they are and where they want the ball and when they want the ball, and they just do a great job finishing. So I definitely take that part of my game very seriously and want to make sure I get it to them when they need it. It's definitely the longest one, um, longest road stretch that I've ever been on. It was, it was tough um, practicing in other people's gyms all the time, uh, playing in other people's gyms all the time, but it definitely helps you grow um, as a team and to have, know that we have to be 10 points better and to win by that much more definitely is going to help us in conference play with um, competitive teams and competing in the SOCON. So I think it was a good thing for us. We definitely grew a lot from that. I think the biggest thing that we've talked about this year is just playing together and playing for one another. Um, the assists that we have this year definitely goes to show that we are playing for each other and we're sharing the ball and it's about winning as a team and not individuals and I think that makes a really big difference. The first is just the attitude around the team in general. We all believe in it. Um, everyone's buying in. We always talk about the Wofford way, which is a lot of together and fighting um, and just being that gritty team that gets it done. Um, we just have to win by one is what he, what he says a lot and we've shown that and that we can win by more than that so that's been great. Um, the whole coaching staff has just been amazing. The experience under them as a senior has just been fantastic so far and I'm so excited for what they can do for the program in the years to come.